You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government by and for the people. It's the end of the week, so we're updating some recent democracy news from Washington, D.C., Texas, Nebraska, Massachusetts, and reminding you of June 28th state primaries. The January 6th committee has delayed next week's scheduled hearings until July, having received new documentary evidence of the Trump family and new materials on events before and after the U.S. Capitol insurrection. At last weekend's Texas Republican Convention, the updated platform espouses that the 2020 election was stolen, that President Biden is only the acting president, and calls for Texas to hold a vote to secede from the United States. A Nebraska man has been found guilty of threatening an election official on the official's Instagram page, posting, do you feel safe? You shouldn't. Do you think Soros will or can protect you? The man faces up to two years in prison. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker signed a bill making permanent accommodations for early voting and mail-in voting. The bill did not include same-day registration, however, as was sought by democracy advocates. Advocates in San Diego have pushed off an effort to implement ranked choice voting for city elections until 2024 because of soft support in the city council. Meanwhile, Alaska's first statewide election using RCV is August 16th. Finally, voters in Virginia, Colorado, Illinois, New York, Oklahoma, and Utah should plan to vote in their June 28th state primaries. Why? Because Granny D said, democracy is not something we have, it's something we do. For the American Democracy Minute, I'm Brian Beal.